Hello guys, so welcome to Executables. How are you all? I hope you all are doing well. Um, today I'm going to show you uh, ext an extremely important um, tutorial, which is that how can you convert your Canva files um, into PSD. Now for us designers, uh, Canva is a really useful um, web tool that uh, lets us design any kind of graphical work and we use it a lot. You can see that uh, there are lots of designs I already have and um, I'm going to choose one of these for example let us choose for example let us choose this one I use Canva a lot for uh, all my graphical orders and I hope that m uh, many people do so so as we all know that Canva doesn't let us download the PSD file if you go to the download option you'll see that only PNG, JPEG, um, PDF standard, PDF print and video options are available but no PSD forms are there so we need to get the PSD so that we can edit this letter so in order to do that firstly you will have to download the PDF print file now PDF files have all the font related information all the layer related informations um, you know included in the file now I'm downloading PDF print because it, it is the highest quality possible so I'm just gonna keep it in index desktop as you can see the download is completed now you'll have to go to a website called photo p photo p h o t o p e a photo p dot com you can also download the web app I already have it installed um, in my desktop you can see this is the photo p uh, web app you can also if you if you don't even use the web app that's not going to be any problem you can just log on to photo p from any browser and it will work just fine so here it is loaded so it's almost like photoshop but it's the web version of the Photoshop. Now, if you um, import the PSD file into the Photoshop, then it will rasterize the whole file and um, all the informations of layers will be gone. So it will be converted into, you know, kind of like PNG. So there's no use of that. We need to get the layer informations. We need to get the layers. So you can't do that with, for, uh, with Photoshop and you can only do that with this photo editor photo p so after you have downloaded the pdf file just open this photo p editor go to files and um, go to open or you can also simply drag and drop your pdf file over here so it will take a little bit of time as you can see all the um, layer informations are here after all the things are loaded just go to files export as sorry just go to file then save uh, save as PSD and then you can just simply keep it anywhere in your computer so the PD sorry the PSD file is now downloaded uh, this one is the PSD file let me open it with Photoshop so now as you can see that all the layer informations are here you can do whatever you want you can just customize just like any other um, Photoshop file you know if I disable this layer you can see that the, this text is also um, hiding so this is how the thing works and this is the only way um, that you can use to um, you know convert your Canva files into PST there's no other way that I know of so I hope you really like this video okay before I you know close this video I would like to show you something also uh, I would like to show you something else as well so you know I converted this PDF uh, into PSD using this photo editor 
so let me show you that what it looks like if I directly import it into Photoshop so I'm going to file open and I'm gonna open the PDF file I think that most of the graphic um, designers know this but those who don't know for those uh, for those people I'm giving this example so I'm gonna import this PDF file that I just converted directly into Photoshop so after I press OK you can see that it is uh, you know rasterized and converted into one layer so no layer information is there it's just a simple uh, single image so that is not something we want that is why we um, followed this process so that's it hope you liked this video if you really liked it please hit the like button share this video with your friends or other designers those uh, who will find this video useful i hope and uh, please also press the subscribe button to get uh, future notifications thanks a lot bye bye